Good evening, Veterans Memorial Amphitheater in Wolf Park. St. Louis Park. Dorothy said it best, there's no place like home. We are broadcasting live tonight on parktv.org, and I want to thank them and their film crew. So we're all on TV, we're all going to be all broadcasted everywhere. And I want to say hello to Brian Wilson, who is watching backstage with our founder, Kevin Odegaard, tonight from our zoo in Apple Valley. I miss you, Kevin. Welcome to Salute to the Music of Bob Dylan. Bob is on tour tonight in Wonton, New York, part of his Americana Rama tour, and we are celebrating all 51 years of his career this evening with some of the best musicians in any part of the world. We're here with a mission, and our mission tonight is to raise awareness for the efforts of Guitars for Vets, a national organization founded to serve the needs of returning veterans suffering the effects of PTSD. Participants receive basic music instruction, and upon completion of the program, a guitar of their own. The healing power of music in the hands of heroes. I want you all to go to guitarsforvets.org, Please visit our stand. We have the president here this evening. He will help you with anything you need to know about it. And check it all out and learn more about it. It's a great organization. Yeah. And we want all of you to feel good tonight. We're all family tonight, like Gene LaFon says. So we're all family. We're going to have a great night. We're going to start off this evening. Let me fill you in for some of our fans. I know we do have fans and followers. So we're going to go back to 2009 when we started with the KO band. In 2010, we had the Three Amigos. In 2011, they were the LA Rod and Reel Club. In 2012, last year, you dug them as the Dirt Farmers. Well, in looking for a name for this year's configuration, some of the names that were tossed around, believe it or not, were, one of them was Thesaurus Rex. <laughs> it gets even better. Schmaltz Liquor. I said, no way on that one, right? I actually like the one that went, oi, vagrants. <laughs> Finally, someone suggested the K.O. Rod and Dirt Amigos. He was immediately fired from the band and was last seen playing for tips on the exit ramp at 35E in Yankee Doodle Road. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, forgot what I'm trying to say, but actually, actually, if you feel like you've seen these guys before, you actually have. And you're not going crazy, okay? They just keep showing up year after year after year. So tonight, I present to you the live debut of Deja Blue. And we're, we're going to start it off with, our, with a Minnesota native, our good buddy from Nashville, Mr. Jeff Dayton. Put it together for him. Thank you so much. Aloha. You aren't feeling it, are you? Aloha. As they say in Hawaii, don't worry about the rain. It's a blessing. Here's some songs from some of the records I have out today. Daddy started every day in a clean work shirt At the north end of a southbound mule Sun up to supper, pouring money in that dirt Saying someday, son, this will all belong to you When the bankers and the builders come around Remember your daddy always stood his ground Cause it's my dirt Daddy 
standing right underneath that maple in the grove And I'm southbound on an old John Deere Holding back the tide, trying to keep this place afloat Yeah, I'm in dirt and dead up to my ears I'm mamish in the kitchen, supper's made I'm dirty and I'm tired, and that's okay Cause it's my Thank you so much. Thank you. This feels pretty good. A little balmy, little just misty sort of. This is awesome. I love being here. It's so good to be up here again at home. I've been living in Nashville for 13 years now. Spent a long time in Phoenix. I had the joy out there of uh, kind of being discovered by a guy named Glenn Campbell. He put me to work for 15 years as his guitar player and band leader, and we toured all over the world in two directions. And, just had an awesome time with Glenn. Oh yeah, he's, he deserves that, you know. He's going through his own struggles right now. Here's a song that Glenn kind of taught me to say it and get out of the way. I wrote this with a guy named Bill White. Well, there's trouble in the world and trouble in your backyard too. Yeah, the sky is falling and it's landing all over you. Well, you ain't got a dollar in the bank and you ain't got a drop in the tank. Well, when you're in it and you're spinning and you don't know what to do, well, have a biscuit, spread on a little butter. Have a biscuit, go on and have another. Take a deep breath, don't you take it so hard, the more smile the better things are take it easy and uncomplicate all the crazy of your everyday day sit yourself down home grab a chair in the kitchen and have a biscuit when they're wagging that finger at you saying you're all wrong yeah there's a face in your face and they're daring you to get it on well, you're not the kind of cut and run And you're too kind to throw a punch Well, you can bicker and dicker But there's quicker ways to get along Yeah, just have a biscuit Spread on a little butter Have a biscuit Go on, have another Take a deep breath Don't you take it so hard The more you smile The better things are Take it easy And uncomplicate All the crazy Of your everyday day Sit yourself down home, grab a chair in the kitchen, and have a biscuit. Well, you can push till it comes to shove, and you can cry when it comes to love. You can fuss, cause you always want more, and you can worry while you walk the floor. Or, 
You can have a biscuit while they're nice and hot. Have a biscuit with gravy on top. Take a deep breath. Don't you take it so hard. The more you smile, the better things are. Take it easy and uncomplicated. All the crazy of your everyday day. Sit yourself down home. Grab a chair in the kitchen and have a biscuit. Have a biscuit. Have a biscuit. All right. Well, you know, I was raised in Minnesota, so I drank that funny water we all had up here. You know, we had folk music. We had polka music. Gosh, we had Wally Pickle. We, anybody remember Wally Pickle? We had, we had Captain Kangaroo. We had Casey and Roundhouse. Roundhouse. We had Dave Lee and Pete. No wonder I'm like I am, you know? Good stuff, though, and I look back at it, and I feel it in my blood. And I want to thank my mom for uh, really being the one that put the love of, of great songs in me. And, and she was into anything catchy and anything that felt good. And, and she brought it all home. She brought home the first Beatles record. I mean, I, was so, I had the hippest mom, you know? My, my friend Tommy Wells, God rest his soul, uh, he, got to, uh, he got to see the Beatles at Shea Stadium, and he had to lose a pound of weight for every dollar of the ticket. And uh, so he was supposed to lose six pounds. <laughs> How about that? Here's another one from my newest record. This is about a little butterfly. Out of nowhere you flew to me Soft and light on an easy breeze You danced a while on your beautiful wings Letting you go is a bittersweet thing So flutter by, butterfly, flutter by And thank you for the minute you were mine if I tried to keep you, you would only die. So butterfly, flutter by. I held you softly in my hand. It made me smile and it made me sad Cause I want you to stay with me But you were born to be set free So flutter by, butterfly, flutter by And thank you for the minute that you were mine if I tried to keep you, you would only die. So butterfly, flutter by. Yeah, fly away. Let your spirit ride the wind. And maybe some perfect day, you'll be back again. Thank you so kindly.
I want to just take a second and recognize early in the show, we have an awesome sound guy here. And let's hear for Tim right down here. He's doing a superb job. It sounds great up here. Does it sound okay out there? All right. I want to get my buddies to come out here. I got two friends that, well, they're all my friends, but these uh, guys are going to help me on this next little song here. Gary Lopak, going to play some bass guitar. Ralph the Kooten on percussion. Come on. All the artists that have uh, merchandise or CDs for sale over here, hope you'll uh, check it out and also visit Guitars for Vets and uh, help them out too. They're awesome. You'll hear more about them later on. This is another one from the new record. And uh, I had the fun to write. I wrote this in June and already recorded it for this new album. I recorded it at Winterland over there in New Hope. So uh, let's hear it for Todd and all his bunch there. So that's where this came from. You got a line and I got a pole. You and me, baby, let's take a stroll. Wander around down to the water side. Cut a little bait and see what bites. Cause I love fishing with you, baby. I love your little catch me look. I love the way you tease me. One little wiggle and I'm on. So cute in your summertime hat Makes my little heart go pitter-pat You're so fine just sitting in a boat Knock me in the water, Lord, I hope I float Cause I love fishing with you, baby I love your little catch me look I love the way you tease me One little wiggle and I'm on Baby, I'm just fine Cause I love fishing with you, baby I love your little catch me look I love the way you tease me One little wiggle and I'm on the hook One little wiggle and I'm on the hook One little wiggle and I'm on the hook The fun of being a songwriter. Gary Lopak, Ralph the Cook. How about you? Stay for better? This has kind of become my theme song. I'll close my set with this. I just want to express while I'm kind of warming this hip that uh, how much I love Minnesota and how I love being back here in freakishly cold July weather. <laughs> there mu this must be a record low for July for a high, is it? No? We had snow here one July? It was the year I was in Hawaii, right? You know, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of world out there, and I've seen a good chunk of it. And I've uh, met a lot of wonderful people, but, you know, there's something about home that brings you back. And uh, if you're from here or you live here, you know what I'm talking about. This place is ultra special, and there's a, there's a real value in, in being from here. There's some awesome people here. There's some great deep roots here. And, I just, I love coming home. It's like watering my roots. So thanks for letting me bring some songs back up here tonight. That's it. This is the title track of one of the records I've got over there. My old man, he's a real piece of work. Hard head and a blue collar shirt. Tell you jokes makes you laugh till it hurts. Just to see you smile 
And every morning's the same toast and eggs. Drives a four-door paid for Chevrolet. I don't think he's ever seen a bad day except when Grandma died. Anytime anyone ever asks him how he's doing, well, it's a, the same grin, the same line every time. Never been better, never had a day that beat the way I feel right now. No way, no how. Never been nothing to compare. The rush of just being here. I'd have been stronger, faster, younger, but I never been better. You know what I mean? I used to hear my old man saying grace, asking Lord, please bless this dinner plate. Thank you for our health and another day, and if you don't mind, please bless that woman sitting there in her grandma's cane back. Share. Greenest eyes that I've seen anywhere She's the love of my life There ain't a man anywhere Ever been as blessed as me A lot of girls in this world The far as I've seen Never been better Never been a woman Loved me just the way I was but That's what she does Never been nothing to compare The rush of her being here And living a love so good It all lasts forever I might have been stronger And faster and younger But I've never been better no. That's the kind of man he is. That's the kind of man I want to be. That's the kind of way I want to feel when they ask me. And if you ask me, I've never been better. Never had a day that beat the way I feel right now. No way. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Mahalo nui. And now, the MC for this evening, Mr. Billy Hallquist. Jeff Dayton! Boy, I am, I have been worried, and I will continue to worry until we're done, but uh, that is my nature. I'm not, I, I am no longer worried. But there's a lot of people here. I thought that, uh, yeah, thank you for coming. Here we go. song by Gary Lopak. Let's do it.
Here's a song from last year. I think they'll forgive us. The song's called Plan B. It's written by Kevin Odegaard. Anybody who knows anything about music knows that it's very simple, one, four, five, blues type of thing, eight bar, 12 bar, all that sort of stuff. This is not that.
Lonnie Knight, ladies and gentlemen. It's over, and the truth is plain to see. It's over, she made a working class fool out of me. It's over, there's writing written all over my wall. It's over, it was never a too close to call. The sun goes down and I'm standing all alone on the shore staring out at the sea was it all a fantasy did she ever love me it's over the eagles landed and the cows have come home It's over. The skies are cloudy where the buffalo roam. It's over. The coast is clear and all the ships have set sail. It's over. There's a check out there somewhere in the mail. It's over. The eyes are dotted and the T's have been crossed. It's over. The battle's raging though the war has been lost. It's over. East is west, north is south, up is down. It's over. Flat lady singing. Thank you. Do one more song and then we have a special thing that's going to happen. It's already special. And a specialer thing, I meant to say that. A specialer thing. Just 
Uh, if anybody was at the Bob Dylan concert at Midway Stadium on July 10th, Bobby did a, Mr. Dylan did a tribute to a person that I know and love. He did a, uh, he did a song by the guy that was the first guy to give him a job in the uh, music business, and he fired him after a gig or two. And uh, that guy's name was Bobby V. And uh, Bob Dylan tribute, uh, played tribute to Bobby V that night by doing Bobby V's first hit. And I would like to introduce to you Robbie V to perform his dad's first hit. The best part of the story, though, is that, that was before Bob Dylan, there was Elston Gunn. Oh, that's right. He was called Elston Gunn. Elston Gunn Gun with three N's. So th <laughs> that's back when he was in the shadows. So this is, this is pre-Bob uh, Dylan. Because four N's would have been pretension. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit of this. Yeah. 
We're going to take a brief, uh, brief intermission here and do some announcements. We're going to come back with the Dylan portion of the show. All right, I want to tell you about another concert coming to the West End Project on August 17th, Saturday, from noon to 11.30. It's called You Betcha, Minnesota Made Festival. This is the retro edition. It's got live music from Boogie Wonderland, The Purple Experience with Dr. Fink, but from 2 to 6.30 is a portion called the Minnesota Legends of the 60s and 70s. Features the Youngsters, the Ravons, the Del Counts, Thunder Tree, Northern Light, Peter Lang, Lonnie Knight, and our concert organizer of the evening, Billy Hawk, was put it all together. It's going to be a great day. Please come go to that show. It's going to be great. We have flyers and more information over at the stand about that show. And uh, I want to do some thank yous. I want to thank American Guitar Boutique, family owned and operated for 13 years, doing our backline and amps. I want to thank Tim Snow Sound at Lighthouse Records. Infinity Drumworks gave us two sets of drums. Taylor Sound Rehearsal and Recording did our, uh, our we rehearsed there. The Double Tree by Hilton, Minneapolis Park Place. I love that hotel. They put up our out of town visitors and welcome all of our out of town visitors. I want to thank Stella Blue and our volunteers, Mike, Nathan, Lori, and Steve. I want to thank Patrick Ginter for donating art this evening to the vets. All the, he donated four Bob Dylan prints. Please check them out. The money will go to the vets. And let's see anybody else I forgot. Uh, please buy the local CDs. They'll all autograph them and talk to you, tell them about their future shows. We have it all at the, at the souvenir stand. Please uh, check that out. I want to read you something. While riding on a train going west, I fell asleep for to take my rest. I dreamed a dream that made me sad, concerning myself and the first few friends I had. With half damp eyes, I stared to the room, where my friends and I spent many an afternoon, where we together weathered many a storm, laughing and singing till the early hours of the morn. By the old wooden stove where our hats was hung, our words were told, our songs were sung, where we longed for nothing and were quite satisfied talking and a-joking about the world outside. With haunted hearts through the heat and cold, we never thought we would ever get old. We thought we could sit forever in fun, but our chances really was a million to one. As easy as it was to tell black from white, it was all that easy to tell wrong from right. Our choices were few and the thought never hit that the one road we traveled would ever shatter and split. How many a year has passed and gone and many a gamble has been lost and won? and many a road taken by many a friend, and each one I've never seen again. I wish, I wish, I wish in vain that we could sit simply in that room again. $10,000 at the drop of a hat. I'd give it all gladly if our lives could be like that. Bob Dylan's dream from 1963. Now on this stage tonight, we have a salute to the music of Bob Dylan. That's what you're all here for, right? Are you rested? Because we're going to play all night long. The rain is not going to stop us. Gary Lopak, Billy Hallquist, Jeff Dayton, Lonnie Knight, Stan Kipper, Scott Sansby, Ralph DeCoot, Jim Steinworth, Patty Peterson, Paul Metza and Willie Walker, James Loney, Aaron Allswang, Dan Israel, Steve Grossman, Jeff Victor, Jean Lafon, Kenny Crona, Courtney Yasmina, Arnie Fogel. The artist formerly known as the Unknown Idol is going to be here again, John Patterson. Ladies and gentlemen, please, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a salute to the music of Bob Dylan, starting out with your sister and mine, Barbara Meyer. Thank you for every, everybody for coming. Thank you.
Uh, as we start to the uh, Dylan portion of the show, is Neil James Fisher here? Neil James Fisher, I have your wallet. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so, and there's, so there's What's like, there's wallet? like about eight thousand dollars in here. So if Neil James Fisher would form a double line to the left, uh, we'll we'll return that. But right now, in front of everybody, God and country, I am putting this in my back pocket. And uh, if anybody knows Neil, tell him you've never heard of me. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this gorgeous afternoon. I'm so glad you're here. Glad to see you. I love you. Let's have some music. Turn the stage over to Stan Kipper here. Stan and Chico have to leave for another gig, believe it or not. So we're moving them up to the front of the show. 
Stan Kipper. All right, sweethearts. I said good evening to y'all. Thank you so much for coming. I'd like to thank Billy, Billy for putting this all together. And I want to thank all of our wonderful musicians here tonight and everybody who helped us organize this. Y'all get a real good look at all of us. You can see what our, what our righteous musical community is about. You know what I'm saying? We are yours and we're happy to be here for y'all tonight. Song by Bob called Joker Man. Standing on the water, casting your bread. Let's go again. Here we go again. One, two, three. Standing on the water, catching your bread. I can't hear the key, y'all. That's it. We got it now, y'all. Wait a minute. One. Yeah, Chica needs to tune. One, two, one, two. We meant to do that. Stand on the water, casting your bread by the eyes of the idol with the iron head and flowing. Distant ships sail in the mist. You would bone with a snake in both your fists while the hurricane would blow. Just around the corner for you With the truth so far gone What good would it do ya? Joker man dance to the night I gale to Birds fly high by the light of the moon Oh, oh, Joker man See how swiftly the sun sets in the sky you rise up, say goodbye to no one. Fools rush in, but angels feel it good. Both of the future so full of dread. You don't show up. Shedding off one more layer of skin. Keep them one step ahead of the persecutor within. Crowd, you were you a dream twister. You go to Sire Man Gamora, but what do you care? Ain't nobody there. We want to marry your sister. Friend to the bottom, friend to the woman in chain. You look into the fire first, see the rich man without any name. On a milk white steed, Michelangelo D could have carved out your features. Resting in the field, far from a turbulent space. Half asleep, beast the stars, a swan dog licking your face. Behind every curtain, false hearted judge. 
are just dying at the words that they spin. Only a matter of time for night to step in it, yeah. Younger man dance through the night and get to two. Birds fly high by the light of the moon. Scarlet. He put the priest in the pocket, put the blade to the heat, take the motherless children off the street, place them at the feet of a holly. Oh, Joker man, you know what he wants. Oh, Joker man, you just so in a response. You like Stanley? Is he okay? Nice sweetheart. I told Stan I'd get him off the stage by 7.30. It is 7.33. Oh, no. Oh, and we got a cool... Uh, did you want to do a quick photo thing, or did we forget about oh, this? Yeah, don't leave. Quick, quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Y'all have a great, safe summer. Take care of yourselves, all right? Peace. All right, we're going to, like I said, we, we're doing things a little bit out of order here and uh, trying to uh, catch up some things here. Uh, uh, we would like to now uh, introduce to you and turn the stage over to Courtney Yasmine. guitar and the monitor and more voice, sir. Um, I count Mr. Dylan as my one and only great hero of my entire life, and it's a great joy for me to get to play this song for you. Come right. 
writers and critics who prophesize with your pen. And keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again. And don't speak too soon, for the wheel's still in spin. And there's no telling who that is naming for the loop. Congressman, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall. For he who gets hurt will be he who has stalled. There's a battle outside raging, and it'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls. For the times they are hurting. Come mothers and fathers throughout the land And don't criticize what you can't understand Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command The old road is rapidly aging Please get out of the new one if you can't lend a hand For the times they are changing It is drawn and the curse it is cast. The slow now will later be fast as the present now will later be past. The order. Thank you. Again, Courtney Asmini. All right. Uh, we're going to go into our birds mode here. Splattered mist was 
Thank you. I'm going to move a little bit farther down the line. Turn it over to Gary Lopak. Gary Lopak. We'd like to bring on a friend of ours, Kenny Crona, doing one of my absolute favorite songs. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for being here tonight. Great cause and great music. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. She's got it. 
everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't look bad. She's got everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't look bad. She takes the dark out of the nighttime. Paint the daytime black. Based on outstanding. About to steal her anything she sees. Then you start out standing, about to steal her anything she sees. You're gonna wind up peeking through a keyhole down upon your knees. Well, she never stumbles, she's got no place to fall. She's got no place to fall Yeah, she's nobody's child The Lord can't touch her at all ring the sparkles before she speaks she was an Egyptian ring the sparkles before she speaks she's a hypnotist collector you are a walking antique bow down to her on Sunday salute her when her birthday So then when a birthday comes On Halloween buy her trumpet Christmas to give her a drum Thank you very much. Thanks. extra special event going on. Uh, many of you might have been here years ago when we were going to do the song and somebody made the what I thought at the time was a major mistake and said, does anybody in the audience want to come up and sing a verse? And lo and behold, somebody did. And so I was sitting off to the side going, this might not be good. I don't know where this is going. And all of a sudden, up comes John Patterson and knocked everybody's socks off. He is now part of our show. Please welcome the artist formerly known as the Unknown Idol, Mr. John Patterson. When we first met, 
soon to be divorced. Have to write up a jam, I guess, but he used a little too much for. So we know that cause falls a good banning in our web. Split up on the dogs and I ate about the green and it was bad. She turned around to look at me as I was walking away. I heard her say over my shoulder, we'll meet again someday. a cook for a spell, but I never did like it all that much, and one day the ex just fell. So I drifted down to New Orleans, like I was to be employed, working for a while on a fishing boat right outside Delacroix. All the while I was alone, the past was a close behind. Hey, a lot of women, but she never escaped my mind. And later on when the crowd went out, I was just about to do the same. She was standing there and back on my chair saying to me, don't I know your name? I muttered something underneath my breath, she started the lines on my face. I must admit, I looked a little uneasy when she bent down to tie the lanes of so my shoes. so much. Boy, I'll tell you, we, we got uh, 
There were people sending us emails and, and Facebook pages going, is the unknown idol coming back? Is the unknown idol coming back? And uh, I've got to know John well, pretty well. We see each other every year about this time. <laughs> and uh, now, from one special section of the show to another, I would like to uh, introduce to you one of the members of the first family of music in the state of Minnesota. Please give it up for Patty Peterson. How many years have we been doing this right here? Five. Five? Okay, no, wait a minute. At the Dakota Jazz Fest, you held off the rain during my set. Don't get cute. You know, this is a, a different year for me because Brother Billy is in Anchorage and in Japan who was on uh, Blood on the Tracks. And... Um, it's always fun to have him be a part of this, but he sneaks in and sneaks out. But um, it also is a very special year for me because it, about a month ago, my mom passed. And when I looked at these songs again and looked at the lyrics that I'd been singing with Kevin Odegaard and some of the guys, I went, oh my gosh, my mom is in these lyrics. And so, uh, you know, there are some of these um, things I'll be singing tonight, thinking of her. And I hope by the time I'm done singing tonight, you'll sing along with me, okay? Hey.
and such a fantastic mother and she really infused this thought into all of us kids but all of you out there who she adopted as well and this is a song I know you know the words to so if you would please just sing along with me okay
Thank you so Patty much. Patty Peterson. We'll take a brief intermission here and uh, tell you about what it is, why we are here. It's raining nothing. We're not going anywhere, right? We can, come on, we handle 20 below winners, right? We're all good to go. Tonight is, I would like all the vets in the audience to stand up if we have any. Do we have any here tonight? Let's stand up, please. Tonight's your night. And give them a hand. And while I babble on with a few announcements, I'd like you all, all the vets, to please come forward and sit on this ledge. Be our guest up here. I would love it. Don't be shy. Come on, everybody who's a vet, come on up here. Today is the 60th anniversary of the Korean War armistice. Sending thanks and gratitude to all veterans of that conflict. Come on, come on, have a seat right there. I want to mention another concert, the Lieutenant Dan Band Benefit Concert for local hero Corporal Mark Latinsky. It's presented by Tunnel to Towers Foundation and the Gary Sinise Foundation. It's at the Pantages Theater on Sunday, August 4th, 7 p.m. Tickets are $39 to $79. Wow, our show is free. All right. It's all for a worthy cause, what can I tell you? Anyhow, did I forget anybody else for the evening? We're gonna come out at you. We're gonna introduce, uh, we have to introduce one more person to you. Say hi to Slim Dunlap, hope he's feeling better. Rest in peace, JJ Kale, we miss you already. Mr. After Midnight. I'd like to introduce to you a man that works year round on this show. He makes us all look good. I don't do anything, I just show up. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your concert organizer and band leader for the evening, Traveling Billy, Thunder Tree Billy, two L's, an all around mensch. Please welcome Mr. Billy, the legendary Billy Hallquist. Thank you. This is our fifth year of doing this show and our fourth year in association with Guitars for Vets. And as we were getting ready to do our second show, uh, Kevin Odegaard, our uh, founder and uh, spiritual leader, says, Billy, we got a new, uh, a new uh, organization we're working for. And I knew nothing about it. Uh, I showed up here wondering who the heck was Guitars for Vets. And uh, sure enough, Patrick Nettesheim, and uh, Dan Van Buskirk, the founders of the organization, spoke to a crowd. And I was really won over by the, the work that they do. And, and uh, since then, everything that I have done musically is on behalf of this organization. And I would like to uh, introduce Eric Weinstein and Patrick Nettestein from Guitars for Vets. And they'll give you an idea what, the, what their program is about. Hello, sports fans! <laughs> One of my graduates at Guitars for Vets, uh, Mark Duran, who was here last year and played with the band, always dared me to introduce myself to the crowd like that. So, there we go. It's a great night. Um, you know, the sun is shining from out there in. Thank you so much for coming to support this. And for Billy the Mensch Hallquist for putting it together. Uh, this is such a wonderful thing for our organization, and we have a lot of gratitude for you and the vets out in the audience and those who couldn't make it here tonight. Uh, I'm just going to give you a brief background about Guitars for Vets. I co-founded the organization with Dan Van Buskirk in 19... <laughs> 19 boy, am I going back. 2007. And uh, so we've been around for six years, a little more than that. Um, Dan was referred to me for guitar lessons. I'm not a veteran myself. I'm a performer and a musician. Uh, Dan, Vietnam era Marine. And we found that the lessons were very therapeutic for him. I mean, that wasn't the intent. <laughs> the intent was to teach him how to play guitar. But he found that uh, he was getting a little bit of serenity from that and uh, sleeping better, not needing as much medication, though that's not one thing we advocate. Uh, but uh, that was his experience. He found more peace, found happiness, found joy. Uh, Dan suffers from PTSD, like many uh, of the vets 
they're out there and you don't even need to be in combat to to get PTSD as a matter of fact all you need is one traumatic event in your life to have the symptoms of post-traumatic stress and uh, so we all can probably relate through our personal experiences uh, anxiety depression those are two of the main things that come along with that nightmares uh, if you know a veteran that suffers from that we have to lift the stigma off of this stuff, not only publicly for civilians, but especially for veterans as well. Because when they come back, they want to get a job. They want to come back into society. And there's still that tough stigma around this man or this woman has post-traumatic stress disorder. Stay away or be careful. So let's work to, to, really, to really welcome these people back into our communities and show them the love that they truly deserve. So one of the figures I wanted to give with you, when I spoke here in 2010, it was, it was an amazing figure that I learned. There were approximately 18 suicides a day amongst the veteran population, which was about 20, 25 million vets. Uh, that's much higher than the, the regular public rate. You know, one a day is unacceptable. Uh, unfortunately, that rate has gone up. It's now 22 a day. Um, we, as a society, need to do the best we can to take care of these men and women. There are brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, sons and daughters. And whether you agree with the war or the conflicts or not, you know, they're still fighting in our honor, in our name. You know, take, take the disagreements to our politicians. War should be controversial. We don't take a political sides. We stand on one side, and that is supporting our veterans. Thank you. And they can really bring unity that way to our community. You know, uh, my co-founder founder and I always talked about how it's actually through the warrior that the world will find peace because they've seen the other side of it, and it's brutal, and it should always be the very last option if it even has to be. So, events like this that bring communities together and raise money for this program, help provide free guitar lessons, free guitars for veterans, is so, so very important. We've seen the changes it makes. I believe we can bring that number of 22 suicides a day down. Guitars for Vets is not the cure-all, but what it does is it helps bring veterans in to the VA for the treatments, the other treatments that they need, and it gives them joy. And it might be the thing just to get them through that period. They might be suicidal, or they might not go out for that drink that night if there's an addiction because that guitar is sitting by the door waiting for them. And that's their new best friend, whether than, or other than the, the rifle that they had when they were in combat was the one thing that kept them and their comrades alive. They come home, that has been taken out of their hands. The guitar replaces that. And now, rather than firing bullets, it's beautiful music. So we do, thank you. We do this because I do this because it's healing for me to do this. And if you want to get involved, uh, my dear friend um, and executive director, Eric, will talk to you about that. But go to a VA. Just go down to a VA and sit and speak with a veteran. And be amazed. There's so much power in that than just putting the ribbon on your car. I mean, that shows support, too. But really, really support the troops by being there for them. That's what is important, and that's what makes a difference, is the positive human interaction. It's great when they can learn guitar along with that, but that's the catalyst for change. And all of you have the power to change yourselves to a happier, more joyful person, as well as these veterans who suffer from this. So I don't know many of you out there but I want you to know that I love you all, and let's just keep that vibe going forward because we can change the world. Thank you.
My name's Eric, and I'm the executive director of Guitars for Vets nationally. And I just want to say on behalf of the thousands of veterans we've worked with over the past six years and the hundreds of volunteers that we have in our organization today, thank you for turning out tonight, for supporting our organization, and for supporting our vets. Guitars for Vets, as Patrick said, was founded in 2007 as a small project at the Spinal Rehabilitation Unit in the VA in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And since those humble beginnings, this organization has grown to over 30 chapters across the country in 15 different states. We've given over 2,000 guitar to guitars to veterans and over 12,000 guitar lessons over the years. But we've barely scratched the surface in terms of the need out there. The way our program is structured is that veterans are referred to us by their health care providers in the VA system. They come to us and we give them 10 free guitar lessons. And at the end of those 10 weeks, a brand new acoustic guitar with all the accessories that one would need to enjoy that instrument. A gig bag, a stand, capo, string, strap, etc. at no cost to the veterans participating. We encourage them to then come back each week for group sessions that occur at the various chapters we've got across the country. We want people that have gone through the program to get involved. Folks become volunteers in our organizations. They come to events like this. They play concerts that we have across the country. They work at booths that we have at various events in the cities in which we're operating in. But as I said, the need is so great that the demand for our program continues to outpace our ability to supply the services that we're doing. There's over 20 different locations right now on a Guitars for Vets waiting list. Cities that want to start Guitars for Vets chapters but have to wait for us to have the funding available to supply them with the guitars that they require. So it's through events like this that we let people know what we're doing and we ask for your help. We think that we're providing a wonderful experience for the veterans that we work with. There's nothing better, as you all know, than sharing the power of music with people who can benefit from it. But in order for us to continue doing this, we need help from folks like you. We can, you can donate to our organization on our website. You can donate at organization events like this. We look for guitars. If you have any that aren't being played, we can use those in our program. Equipment, time to volunteer at events. All of those things are things that we can use for the vets in our program. So I want to just take a moment and again say thank you to all of you for supporting us. I hope you enjoy the rest of, of tonight's event. If you have any questions about what we do, please come see myself or Patrick or, or Billy or there's other folks from our organization in the crowd. And let me just make sure to give a, a warm round of applause for Billy and the band for doing this for us. It's wonderful that they've come out to support us like that each year. So thank you again on behalf of Guitars for Vets. We appreciate all of your support. Hey, I want to get a picture of everybody so uh, we can put it on our Facebook. <laughs> so I need some faces. But I want some, we got to do this uniquely. Why does everybody just stick out their tongue? <laughs> and I wonder what the heck were we doing here? All right, that's good, that's good. Now this is a high definition camera. So we will be contacting you regarding your photograph and whether it gets posted or not. And how much you donate. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. All right, cool, cool. Now, if the person is still sitting next to you after that, you know the breath mints are working. All right, without further ado.
said the joker to the thief there's too much resistance
I get together with Jeff and Lonnie and I say, you know, if you guys keep practicing, someday you'll get to be pretty good. <laughs> I think they do okay. Jeff Dayton, Lonnie Knight. I'm going to turn it back over to Gary. serves you well. We're gonna meet again, meet again and wait. So I'll unpack all my things and sit before it gets too late. No matter I will come to you with another tale to tell.
Gary Lopak. All right, well, luckily, you, uh, Basha and Abe, I believe, are still circulating in the crowd. And uh, if you see anything, if you'd like to make a contribution, you feel free to do so. We will continue playing up here. And uh, luckily, luckily, so far, we have avoided the flood. Until just now. <laughs> wow, this is a tune called Down in the Flood. Aaron Oldsway. <laughs> Way. All right. That's Basha Goldwater from New York City. My niece, this is my nephew Abe Perkansky Siegel from St. Louis Park. He's four years old. Give him a big hand. Give yourselves a big hand. You were great. Thank you. All right, you two, take a bow. One more time. One more time. One more time. Thank you guys, and thank all of you. I was back there having a good time. Yeah, let's do this in, uh, in the key of R, guys. Okay, what key are we doing this, R or X? Glenn Campbell used to say they were tuned to L because it sounded like L. 
Glenn is such a joker. Keep him in your prayers if you would. All right. I'm the token Nashville guy here tonight. All right. So I'm going to do a song off the Nashville Skyline album. I think, I hope this is off Nashville Skyline. Guitar player on this song, by the way, was Charlie Daniels. Check that out. Lay, 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 lay across my big brass bed. Stay, lady, stay, stay while the night is still ahead. Long to see you in the morning light. I long to reach for you in the night. Lay, 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 lay. Stay with your man a while. Till the break of day, let me see you make him smile. His clothes are dirty, but his hands are clean. You're the best thing. Cross my big brass bed. so much. Billy Hawquist. He's the reason this is happening this year, folks. He has sweat and labored and like he's had six babies this year. <laughs> Come on. And he's, he's the only guy that could do this. I mean, some of us can do some of the jobs, but only Billy could do all these jobs. And I just want you all to thank Billy Hawquist right now. One of the coolest dudes I know. You're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we have a Gene Lafon? Do we have a Courtney Yasmine? Are they ready to come up here? You know what I think we could use? What? I think we could use a shot. A shot of love. Gene Lafon! Courtney Yasmine! <laughs> Thank you. 
you didn't let the rain discourage you. Thank you so much for doing that. I know you all wanted just to wait here to see Courtney, right? She said she was going to wear her fur coat tonight. And I says, yeah, but what about your legs? <laughs> Courtney and I have been having fun singing this song lately. We, we did it with Scarlett Rivera up in Duluth uh, for, uh, a few, I don't know, a month ago. And it's a, it's a great song. It goes like this. I need, I need, I need a shot of love. I need, I need, I need a shot of love.
Zahn. The next act is so important that I needed to write something down. And had, had anybody known what a horrible reader I am, we wouldn't be doing it this way. <laughs> but anyway, I would like to welcome my two good friends, Paul Metza and Willie Walker. Paul really started this whole thing back in uh, oh, what year it was, and Dylan's, uh, Dylan's 60th birthday, in two, uh, and we did uh, in 2001 at First Avenue. We did the billion or the million dollar bash. Paul has a new book out called Blue Guitar Highway at www.blueguitarhighway.com. Chronicles his life in Minnesota. The music includes a chapter on the first. Blood on the Track show, which this, which this group has evolved from, right here in St. Louis Park. It's available on Amazon.com. And if you didn't know, Willie Walker is a legendary soul singer originally from Memphis. Memphis! He's a resident of St. Paul for 40 years. Dylan's played his songs on the radio, and he will soon be inducted into the Minnesota Blues Hall of Fame this fall. So you're here from Willie Walker. Paul and Willie have a... They have a new record coming out in just a few weeks called Live at Highway of 55. It features this next number. You can see them every week at Shaw's Bar and Grill at 15th and University, Northeast in Minneapolis, on Thursdays from 5 to 7.30. Are you guys ready? You guys were born ready. <laughs> Let's give it up for Paul Metza, Willie Walker. Thank you. Thank you so much, Billy. Let's, I want to uh, thank a couple of guys. One guy's not here who helped me start this whole thing. Let's hear for Kevin Odegaard, where the hell he is. And the guy that just introduced us, Billy Hallquist, who put this all together for the last few years. So we're going to dedicate this next number one of the, uh, the very first uh, Bob Dylan song I met when I, or I learned when I was uh, 12 years old up in the Iron Range. And we're going to dedicate this uh, on a record in memory of some very important people. First of all, a, a fellow that I was honored to play with a couple of times who passed away last night, J.J. Kale. <laughs> and four other people. Gina Williams. A cousin of Willie's who passed away a couple Brother weeks law. ago. Brother-in-law. My pool buddy. Yeah. Carl Bremer, uh, a good guy. And, and, and two women who you know. Jean Arlen Peterson. Right. And uh, most importantly, a woman who's given more joy to the people of Minnesota than Prince and Dylan combined. My good friend, Sue McLean. Also, we want to thank God for reminding us we live in Minnesota. So sing along. Man. 
friend is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many years can I make feel before? Fifty-five, coming out soon. We're gonna move some mics around. So, 
I have to be honest with you. I'm so glad that so many people showed up in weather like this. And I'm, I'm going to assume that you're still okay with us playing and, uh, and you're not dying to get out of here and go home. That makes me feel better because part of, <laughs> part of me was saying, let's go home, guys. <laughs> but uh, we're not gonna. We've got some more rocking to do. And, uh, and do some house cleaning here is, Tim, we moved the Savage Mike to the Marshall. I'm gonna play through the other one. And make sure that I'm louder than everybody's because... Yeah. <laughs> I would like to introduce now the native son. Were you born here? Were you yeah, born, born and raised? Might have, been, might have been born and raised right here on this stage. Because he feels right at home. Over here on keyboard, sneaking in from every time, every once in a while, we have Jeff Victor. <laughs> you all know him. And let's uh, give it up for Steve Grossman. Check, check, who? I'm gonna do a soft little ballad for you here. Highway 61. Two, one, two, three, or four. Give him no clothes. Yes, yeah, old Howard, where can I go? Old Howard said there's only one place I know. I'm a Sam, well, I can't be done. Well, Howard just pointed with his gun, he said. That way down the highway 61, take it down.
You know, Steve said, you know, Billy, can I can I be on the show? And I said, Steve, I just need you to come out of your shell once in a while. <laughs> and and he has done just that. All right. Next up, another St. Louis Park native. Someone that you may have heard of once or twice before. Please welcome Arnie Fogo. Hello, hello. Actually, I was born in Des Moines, but you know, what the... Hey, I'm so proud to be here. I'm so happy to be here. This wonderful cause and these great musicians. And thank you so much, Billy, and everybody else. <laughs> We're going to do a tune that uh, came out in 1971. There's a, a single on Columbia Records, of course. And it's one of my all-time favorites, especially now. And I'd like to send this out to my friend who usually does this show, Barry Thomas Goldberg. And uh, he is uh, about my best friend. So I hope he hears this at some point. I think he overslept tonight.
ठीक है Well, I guess it's no surprise who's next. Does, it, does this guy even need an introduction? Every, every year he does a new song. This year he decided not to tell us which one it was. So we're going to be learning it along with you. I'm learning it right now. <laughs> yeah, so yes. And he is also. Well, every, so no wonder we play Say Louis Park. Oh, I'm going to get out of your way. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Israel.
Fisher, Pete Grossman, Courtney Yazine, Karen Paris, and you know these guys. Here. We're starting to wind down here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, I was just so worried that everybody was going to say, Stop playing! Stop playing! And we're just, you guys got to keep moving and keep, keep warm. All righty. Now, we have another, we, we, it was just all special. So, what, you know, what do you do when everything is on 10? There's no way to go up. Please welcome James Loney with part of Lolo's Ghosts, the Ghostettes. And you've got to, you've got to serve somebody. All right, good night, huh?
city councilman taking bribes on the side. Might be working in a barber shop, might no cotton hair. You might be somebody's mistress. You might. You might like to wear silk. You might like to drink whiskey. You might like to drink milk. You might like to eat caviar. You might like to eat bread. You might be sleeping on the floor, sleeping in a king size bed, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. You may call me Timmy. You may call me Bobby. You may call me Zimmy. You may call me Jim. Or you may call me James. You can call me anything you want. But you better hear my word. But you're gonna have to serve somebody. Serve somebody. Serve somebody. You're gonna have to serve, serve some, serve somebody. Thank you so much. Drive safe. James Loney of Lolo's Ghosts and the Ghostettes. You got to serve somebody. All right.
<laughs> as uh, as we start to, th oh really, thank you guys so much yeah, for, for sticking around. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna turn it over to Lonnie Knight. But first, I want to introduce everybody. On the keyboards over there is Mr. Jeff Victor. <laughs> Behind him a little bit, Aaron Oswey. <laughs> Working our way in the back on drums, Scott Sansby. <laughs> on percussion, Ralph DeCoot. <laughs> over here on the other keyboards, Jim Steinworth. <laughs> and <laughs> Amigo Duo, Gary Lopak. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Jeff Dayton. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? Yeah, we missed somebody. We're gonna we're gonna get to Lonnie, right? We're gonna get to Lonnie we're not, right now. We're not going to Lonnie yet. Not till we talk about Billy, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna talk about Billy some more. He's been doing all these introductions and just handing out all this love all night long. And we need to shower him with some love. Shower the people you love with love. Billy Hawquist, the one and only. Thank you, Billy. Thank you very much. All right, let's turn it over to another highlight of a of a night filled with highlights. Lonnie Knight. Thank you, folks. You know, you have been so kind and gracious and patient and, uh, and warm. We can feel the heat coming back up here, and we really needed it tonight. You've applauded for everybody, all the players, all the special guests, the people that founded this thing, the guitars for vets. Unfortunately, there's only a few of us up here, and we can't make nearly as much noise as you can. So please, please, a round of applause for yourselves for sticking it out with us, for staying the evening, hanging in the cold. <laughs> in the rain and more is and it's Easter time too and your gravity fails and negativity don't pull you through don't put on any airs when you're down Some hungry women there, they really make a mess out of you. If you see Saint Annie, won't you please tell her thanks a lot? I cannot move my fingers, they are all. To get up and take another shot no. My best friend, the doctor He won't even tell me what it is I've got Sweet Melinda The peasants call her the goddess of blue She speaks good English, and she invites you up into her room. You're so kind, careful not to go to her too soon. She takes your voice and she leaves you howling at the moon.
It's either fortune or fame You may pick one or the other Though neither of them ought to be what they claim And if you're looking to get silly You best go back to from where you came Because the cops don't need they expect just about the same But all the authorities They just stand around and boast How they blackmail the sergeant at arms Into leaving his post Everybody said they'd stand behind me when the game got rough. You know, the joke was on me. There was nobody there to call my bluff. I'm going back to New York City. I do believe I've had enough. Sing it if you know it. Let's also hear it for the man who keeps all of the trains running on time. Magic Mark Perkansky. Where would we be without Magic Mark? We would be in Finland. We would be in Guatemala. We would be somewhere we wouldn't be here. Thank you guys so much for coming.
everybody Billy Hallquist thank you thank you so much thank do you, you have guys. do you have one more in you do you have one more in you all right we're easy we're easy again this is our fifth year here this thing all started way 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 back when blood on the tracks was recorded here Kevin Odegaard and and uh, uh, Peter Ostrusko Greg Inhofer, Bill, Bar uh, Bill Barber, Billy Peterson, and then Dave no, no, Weber. <laughs> and uh, they did, uh, they did that, uh, the recording, didn't get the credit for it. Many years later, Paul Metza reunited them at Bob Dylan's 60th birthday down in, uh, at uh, First Avenue, Million Dollar Bash. Kevin proceeded to, to write a book about that experience called A Simple Twist of Fate. 
and uh, Blood on the Tracks Live performed for for any number of years in, in situations like this, venues like this. And uh, Kevin has retired and has given the keys to the car to me, and I've been driving it for the past three years. Thank you. And doing it so well. <laughs> and I haven't driven it off the cliff yet, but give me time. Yeah, we got one more song. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to try to do some magic here and see if this comes out. And if it doesn't, what the heck. You know, I am just so grateful that the rain withheld. So it's, it's cold. Lonnie told me. Lonnie told me. Tim told me. I mean, I was ready to give up the ghost. I was ready to pull the plug. And they said, no, it's not going to rain. And uh, far be it for me to not to listen to somebody like Lonnie Knight or Tim Snow. That's why I am where I am today. <laughs> Stands your orphan with his gun, crying like a fire in the sun.
Salute to the music of Bob Dylan. Shout out to Susan Casey and Kevin Odegaard. We miss you. You guys were great. God bless you all. May you all stay forever young, and we'll see you next year. Good night.